Few Miami Dolphins fans knew who Trent Sherfield was when the Dolphins added him in free agency last March. They don't wonder anymore, Sherfield was a quiet addition to the team. He was the guy that wasn't named Tyreek Hill or Cedric Wilson. When fans and media alike began talking about the new wide receiver group Miami had assembled, Sherfield and River Crocraft were the guys on the outside hoping to make what could be five or six players filling the wide receiver unit, after the draft. Eric Ezukanma was talked about quite a bit and he made an impression in training camp. For the Dolphins, it was a competition of Hill, Jalen Waddell, Ezukanma, Wilson, Preston Williams, and Mohamed Sanu, along with Sherfield and Crocraft, Williams and Sanu were cut and the thought was the final spot would come down to Sherfield and Crocraft. Crocraft was cut and later resigned to the practice squad but Sherfield stuck, so far this season, he has been a fantastic addition that flies under the radar. A wide receiver who is getting the job done without the accolades being given to Hill and Waddle. He is the perfect third wide receiver on a very good offense and in an incredibly talented wide receiver room. On Sunday, Sherfield got the accolades he deserves. His 14-yard touchdown reception was a perfect illustration of how to be a receiver in the NFL. He toe-touched in the corner after going high on a defender to catch a pass that was thrown to a point only Sherfield could catch it. On the year, the wide receiver has only 30 targets but he has caught 22 of them. He has 247 yards and averages 11.2 yards per catch. Sherfield isn't flashy but he has good hands and runs clean routes, interestingly enough. It is Sherfield who is getting the looks. Wilson, Jr. has only 11 targets this year and 7 receptions for 10 yards per catch, and no touchdowns, Wilson was expected to see a lot of work with opposing teams taking away Hill and Waddle but so far, teams haven't taken away Hill or Waddle and Sherfield is the go-to guy when they do.